alive. You don't know how long I've been looking for you. I want to play more Destiny. Why can't I play Destiny right now? <laughs> What's going on? What do you think they're doing? Two days shutting down Destiny. Maybe. Uh, server maintenance of some kind, or maybe a make good for the Xbox people who haven't had it for the last week. You never know. But they don't start till Wednesday. I right? know. Everyone starts up oh, again. Oh, is that it? Everyone starts That's up again right. on Wednesday. Yeah, Xbox is late. I didn't so is this a prep for Xbox? Is this a shutdown of just or like assessing what Sony did before moving on to the second chapter? I mean, does it matter? I mean, we're, we're, they crashed the PSN doing. the morning of when they when they launched the beta, and of course that's a point of pride for them. I'm sure. Well, it's a great thing, you, you know, know. Like yeah, when, when GT Online totally you know got destroyed when it first launched, like I thought that was great. It means like that's a lot of people. I mean, not when my character got deleted, but like that means a lot of people are into it. You know, that means yeah. it's you succeed. Yeah, frustrating to the players, but they forget about it once yeah, you start playing. Yeah, I had a point game. on Sunday too where I couldn't get on, and it was it was a bummer because like I had just gotten done like getting all of this stuff out of the way, and like all right, sit down, Destiny. You're not connected to PSN. And I'm like, yes, yes, I am. <laughs> but I didn't. Uh, yeah, I had some login issues every now and then, but didn't really have anything. Game breaking didn't have any items vanish or stats not being recognized. Actually, the cool thing is that like I could just go onto the website on the PC and just like change my gear and equip new gear and stuff. You can do that on your phone. Too. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I, I found that out as well. It's the major app. thing that was just like a style choice was you couldn't swap characters. I had to like shut the beta down and then load it back up if I wanted to like switch to my warlock. Well, you could you, you can you could log out. out. Yeah. yeah, you can change characters in the uh, settings settings menu. Yeah, you go options R one R one. <laughs> Log out, change character. Maybe like a switch character that? button at the, the top. Yeah. It's like press X to go in, like press A to change character or something. Yeah. Um, make that the only, easier. I never had any network problems, but I did have a thing where I was like running from one zone. When we were playing together, actually, running from one zone to the next, and I hit a thing and it said loading. And then oh. I just sat there until it kicked. I sat there for like three minutes. My roommate who was also playing with us, got stuck there too. And he was stuck, and then he went forward and ran off. And I was like, well, I saw you go, but I can't do anything. I can't move, can't fire, can't do anything. And then it kicked me out of, to the menu, and I had to go back in and rejoin the fire yeah, team. Yeah, the only times I got booted out were, like, just in multiplayer matches. Mm. Just randomly, like, I'm stuff. winning. Here, bye. <laughs> <laughs> you get that stuff in retail games anyways. Yeah. I don't even see it as a huge problem, yeah, frankly. Yeah, it's not a yeah. problem really at all. Uh, I did uh, appreciate some of the changes, though, that were made in the beta from the alpha. Like, the, the respawns on enemies were not nearly as annoying. Oh, yeah, they're not nearly as fast. Yeah, I mean, they were, oh, they're, they're faster. Yeah, in the alpha, like, there were literally times where I would, like, kill some guys, walk to, like, the end of, like, the, the building, and then turn around and they'd be back. Yeah, and they'd be yeah. back. <laughs> they like, definitely cordoned off the sections, because especially the areas you go into that are kind of part of the missions, not like the area missions, but the missions you select when you go in, mm -hmm. you, they turn off the respawn and you get that shroud now. That didn't happen in the alpha, and the, oh, right. some of those areas were where the, the problems were. So the, the quick respawns are only in kind of the community areas where you would expect enemies to respawn quickly, because then it'd be boring as hell. If there was just, you know, somebody goes through and cleans out the entire area and you're just sitting around waiting for 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing, too, I noticed, uh, I noticed more chests. Like, when I did the alpha, like, I found maybe one chest, and this time, mm. like, oh, there's a chest over there. Maybe you were looking for them now, though, because I'm, I'm finding about the same amount. Really? Because I, I, yeah, I, yeah I, I definitely felt like I was, like, scrounging and exploring, and I was like, well, oh, really? there's nothing out here. How far did the, the alpha go? I didn't play the alpha. Pretty so much the same. Well, it's a no, little, there, it was was, smaller, there was only, but... like, one story mission in the alpha. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yep. Uh, it was just the one with the, you know, you go into the building and there's you see the high for the first time or whatever. So now they have, like, before that mission and then after that mission. So it's it's cool because I think that's probably why I have a better impression because I just feel like, oh, I know what the crap's going on now. So uh, and then Same that... same map, though. Yeah. So, like, that's why, like, like, I like Destiny. I think it's a great game, but I'm burned out on it now. Right. Like, I'm, like... I'm like, I played this, I played the alpha, so, and that just to me says, like, they're really going to have, like, the game better be huge, or because you hit the level cap so fast, and we were reading something the other day that they want you to hit the level cap, but, like, because you hit the level cap so fast, like, the game better be massive, or it's going to get old fast. Well, it's not eight. I mean, it's not going to be it's eight. It's 20. The, it's 20 in the final game? That's confirmed, yeah, um, apparently. We yeah, read I'll, about I'll it. hit that in weekend yeah they said like the article we were reading i can't remember where but like they were like yeah the level cap's 20 and they want you to hit it 
and you could hit it in a few hours if you were really. And, and I mean, that encourages you to create another class, create another. Yeah, game. yeah. Well, not even well, that. You don't, like you don't finish with your class stuff, when yeah. you hit twenty. You definitely don't finish when you hit that level cap. You keep, uh, you know, well, holding you down your skills and unlocking houses or whatever the factions that you kind of have to start ranking. Well, and also up like that. I'm but, at level yeah. eight and I'm still leveling up. You, you skills. still level up your skills yeah. and stuff, and there are alternate versions of like your special power or whatever, the and then you, you unlock your you know additional abilities for your weapons as well. So faster reload. Some of them have. More ammo. More ammo, things like that. a lot of different things, yeah. There are tons of different things that you can keep unlocking with a character that you've already hit cap with. But, like, right now in the, in the beta, like, now that I'm at level 8, like, it's become Borderlands. Like, the thing I'm afraid of, like, now the only reason to play is to grind for better gear. Because I've right. done everything. Well, but the, the I, I think the big difference for me, because I'm coming from the, the RPG world of, like, playing MMOs. I actually didn't. I played Borderlands 1 a little bit, but I never played Borderlands 2. Uh... But to me, there's so much more skill based in shooting. Yeah. That, like that that difference between like headshots a headshot, you know. Yeah. And so like I'm not really gonna be concerned about like oh that one extra point of damage where like I would in a, you know playing Warcraft because I can only tap the you know three keys so fast. You know the cooldowns just work on a on a on a timer, so like I can actually see those numbers go up. Where like I, there's enough finesse going on in Destiny. Yeah. yeah. And that's well, and that's the other thing too is when you're talking about loot, like yeah, I feel like the 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 loot is way better paced than this. Oh, way better. You, you know, it's like Borderlands, there's so many times I have to go through this tedious of like, okay, I have to go through and like figure out what weapons I want to throw away. I like yeah. this thing for that, and I like this thing for that, and this was like a cool story bonus. And, like I'm constantly having to manage inventory. And yeah, with Destiny, it's like, okay, I've got a better shotgun, just dismantle the old shotgun. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need that thing anymore. But it's like gone. the problem for me is like I pretty much only like the scout rifle and the sniper rifle. Mm. I have a great sniper rifle, but my scout rifle is really crappy. And every time I get like a green or an engram or whatever, I'm like, yeah, is it going to be? Nope, it's a pulse gun or whatever. I don't care about that. So like the only reason for me to play right now is to try to get a green, sni uh, green scout rifle. Yeah, I like switching kind of up. Yeah. I actually like the... Uh, the fusion rifles, the ones that have the charge. They're terrible for multiplayer, but for single player. Oh, those are the ones where you shoot an enemy and it just disintegrates? Basically, yeah. Okay, yeah. I was, I was rocking a fire one that had like a 50-something rating. It was like, it was like charge, blast, charge, yeah. blast. And just like mulling dudes down. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, so speaking of like leveling up and damage and stuff, how does that equalize? I played a little bit of multiplayer and got like my ass handed to me with the exception of one match. Uh, how does how do all those stats equalize? It seems like it depends. Like One version of multiplayer has doesn't have level advantages, and then the Iron Banner event that they did on Saturday, which was only open for two hours, had level advantages on. It was on Sunday too, but yeah, it yeah. was it was no. nuts. Like it was like I was in there and I was like I'm level eight and I have decent gear, but my my defense rating was like 120 or something, 140, or and then my offensive is like only like 60 or 70 or whatever with my my scout rifle, so I switched to an auto rifle, but like. There were dudes who came in who must have had, like, some crazy gun because, like, they would just, like, walk by me and go, Brat! and I'd just die. And I was just like, okay. Like, yeah, I wasn't I, doing I was that in there, I was in there as a level six, and that was just, oh, yeah, no, that was not yeah. happening. But, I mean, so, yeah, yeah you, but you, you know, if you section all that stuff off, that's kind of, like, what I like about the way that they've set up all the different events that you can do, all the single-player stuff, is it just seems, there's so many games over the years that I've told my friends, you know, that I, I've known since like high school. I'm like, oh, this might be the game that we actually all play together. But it's just really tricky because it's not that you all have to like a game. You all have to love that game to actually like once a week, maybe once a month, like actually get together and like all yeah. play it. And, and just the fact that they have like the exploration missions, the strike missions, the story missions, the multiplayer, you know, like even the multiplayer is on different tiers. It always seems like there's something to do. That like if I jump on and my friends aren't there, I'll just explore for an hour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like that, honestly, exploration was the most fun I had with that game. Like the, some of the story bits were really great when I was in with a good crew, but just like running around and having like a couple level four guys and I'm just like, you know, some guy sneaks up behind him and like I snipe him and like see yeah. them look and be like, where did that come yeah. from? Like, <laughs> that's great. I, the Explorer, I, that. I think the Explorer is the most fun. The story I just play to like, unlock new locations right <laughs> uh yeah i just yeah the beacons are still a little weird to me but it was better this time than than the alpha but i think part of that might just be because I, I have a better idea of like how that works yeah so rather than like yeah i was like i'm not going back to that same beacon again i'm gonna like go to each beacon once and then move on to the next area because yeah i think the beacons change because i don't think they're always the same yeah uh, they do definitely bring you back and forth 
the thing that made me nervous over the weekend was the, the timed aspect of things like the the Iron Banner like it starts at two and goes for two hours I'm like oh god <laughs> like playing the, if the real game is like that I'm like oh no like these events where it's like oh no sorry honey I can't go have a life I need to fucking play Destiny at three I'm like I'm not into that I don't want to yeah. be well, I don't want to play Iron an MMO Banner wasn't that big of a deal to me yeah. anyways, except I think they had like no, an I mean, yeah. extra multiplayer map in there that wasn't yeah really Mars good. or whatever. Yeah, uh, when I saw that it was multiplayer, I was kind of like, ugh. <laughs> but what I do like are the, like, the, just kind of the random drop-in missions. Those are awesome. The, have you done the one where they had, like, the, the super scout or whatever, the 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 vandal with the, I'm trying to remember, is it called Reaver Vandal or something oh, like that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had, yeah, like, yeah. an extra shield on him, and, like, you had to, like, kill him before he ran away. And yeah, maybe, yeah. I have not managed to do it yet. There's one time uh, where it was like four of us, and we got him down to like a sliver of health, and then he got to his. Those are cool because like other random point. people just join you. Yeah. It's really cool. What were you going to say? No. It was oh, yeah. Nothing. Yeah. They're really cool. Like the world goes dark, and then have you been in any of those? Like, yeah, they're Dinklage super freaks cool. Out. Yeah, Dinklage is like, it's like, careful, it, you know, that wizard is from the moon or whatever. Uh, That's when it starts to really really shine on next gen. I'd be really curious to see that happening on like a previous gen console or whatever, where you can see off in the distance clearly this gigantic ship just rip a hole in the fabric of space and time and just show up. And then suddenly all of these other dropships come out of it, and those are the ones that come to you. It's like you're not even facing that giant one yet. Yeah. But I could see it, and I know how big it is. Like it's so impressive to like. Most of the graphics, they're, they're, they look great. It's an open world game, so naturally they can't make it look absolutely fantastic mm-hmm. at all times. But that's the moment, I think, where it really shines on next gen. On PlayStation 4, at least, we haven't seen it on any other console yet. But yeah. I thought the lighting was good. It's fun to see different environments. You know, Lord knows you go back to them enough. Like, yeah. Different times of day. Yeah. And, like, I, I, well, that's the thing. I, like, that's the thing that also, like, I hope the moon, like, if we do ever get to see these things, like, when the game comes out, like, I hope these other areas, like, I can't remember if it's Venus or Mars. They said it was like a. It, they terraformed it into like a jungle planet, like a, oh, like a resort planet. Oh, it's definitely Venus because I played that multiplayer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like that's what I'm looking forward to because like I, I've had enough of like brown, gray, tundra. You know, I want to be like I want to enter a place and be like, whoa, pretty. <laughs> but I think that's exciting. I mean, you look at like games like Call of Duty or like the big shooters out there, like the way that they release content. It's just kind of like, hey, here's this kooky idea or this weird zombie mode that's totally separate from the main game. And the fact that like every single one of these maps, like each new area, it's like now you know you're gonna go to Jupiter and it's gonna be this crazy you know yeah. no gravity weird thing. And then that's we're gonna get more multiplayer maps out of that. We're gonna get more story content. We're gonna get to explore more stuff. Yeah. Um, and that um, again, it's it, uh, like like you said. I, you're worried about getting stuck in a place where you're grinding. Like, I fully expect to leave this game multiple times this year. Just be like, done. And then, yeah. like, a month Come later, like, to boom, it. I'm back in it. You know, and then, like, yeah. I just get my friends up and our characters are already max level, so we don't have to worry about it. Right. You know, and you just, like, that sounds exciting to me. Like, yeah. the, the the way that the whole 10-year plan that Activision said is kind of making sense. It's kind of, like, I'm seeing that take shape where the, you got the universe. You know, it's like you have all these, like, decrepit, you know, continents around Earth that you can jump around to and create content for that I imagine is going to be the bulk of the single-player campaign. You have all of these planets. You have the possibility to trip to go through dimensions. So, like, yeah. Yeah. they like make another dimension where it's, like, the same. It's, like, Earth, but another dimension. So all the environments are, like, same <laughs> that, map, but they're all different. That'd be rad. Like, oh, man, that'd be you know, cool. tougher enemies and, like... Oh, even just at the beginning of the beta when you walk into the Cosmodrome and you see the one, like, set of ships that was left behind, you see all these different towers where people left... It's like they went out to the stars. They went out to other planets in our yeah. solar system, but they, I'm sure they left the solar system as well. Sure. Right? So, like, it's yeah, almost Yeah, in the intro, infinite. it said that they were, like, going out, but then the darkness came. Never ending story. The darkness. The names, man. Oh, I, love, yeah. I love when I said, yeah. like, when I was first, when I booted it up, it was like, oh, there's a shank. And you're like, I think it's shark. I'm like, no, it's shank. It's shank. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, yeah, the darkness is just like. I'm, that's my thing is, like, I'm afraid it's going to go, in like. Kingdom Hearts, it's okay. But like, it's I'm, I'm afraid it's going to go, like, cheesy, like, like the Halo guys that I hated where they'd always jump out and be like, Meh! like I hope they don't ever do a zombie mode. It's like I don't want them to break this world. Like Mass Effect, I love it because the world is consistent, you know, and I hope they never break Destiny, but who knows. So I, in? Are you in? Uh, yeah, I actually got a heavy weapon this time, so yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I never got a heavy weapon in the Alpha. I don't really? know what I missed, but yeah. Weird. You missed like the chest. We already we already covered that part. You missed all <laughs> yeah. the chests. Uh, that's I got the I got a heavy weapon from a chest after like the second mission in the alpha, and it was still in the same place in the beta. It's like a story beat that you get a you go to the gun guy and he gives you a yeah. rocket launcher or a, or a machine gun. But those are fun in multiplayer. I like the way the ammo is distributed yeah. that way. Yeah, it's actually really interesting to have you know 
those limitations on things. I still I gotta like work the, out the colors. What are the, what's the, what's the purple stuff? Purple's purple is special or is heavy. Green is special. Heavy, white okay. is regular. Well, no, no, no. The color coding for each weapon is is uh, above. Like the ammo. But is he's the, talking about the, the ammo. The ammo yeah. colors. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah the ammo stuff on the ground. Right. It's just like eight different. Dishes. And then did you like notice that when you do your your super attack that like it puts out orbs to like yep. let other charge people's other people's supers, supers charge yeah. faster? Yep. Yeah. So you could in a fire Certain team energy, feasibly though. chain them, right? So like you could kill a group of like six people and let out a bunch of orbs. A guy could pick them up and then put his down, on you know, and then unlock somebody else's super by picking up their orbs and stuff. It's really handy in the in the uh, strike missions. And not super easy. I mean, when we did the stream, I, granted we were a little under leveled for that area, but um, they also sure important to voice chat while you're playing. Right, communication helps. is key. Well, they, I mean, I, it definitely feels like they throw a lot at you. It feels like rage. Strangely, I don't know if you guys played rage a lot, but there was just a lot of um, physicality to the enemies. They did lots of like jumping and ducking, and mm -hmm. um, and like as a sniper, like I don't, I don't know, I don't hate it when they don't move or have bad AI because it means I get some sweet headshots. Yeah, in, so. I'm the same uh, way. It's it's just I I had a lot of fun and I was uh, surprised I think everybody was surprised it kind of uh, was a little bit higher than their expectations. Yeah, but well, I, I was yeah I got bored with the alpha the and then I got done with this and like okay yeah let's just keep going. So. Yeah I know I just want to keep leveling. Need twelve more levels, damn it. <laughs> um, but uh, Hunter, Hunter, Titan this time. Titan, Titan. You favor Titan or are you focus on the Titan more? Uh, well I did so in the alpha I did Vanguard. And then I did a little bit of Hunter. And Everybody's so, Vanguard. So then, uh, I mean, uh, Warlock. 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 Warlock, sorry. Yeah. Whatever. Well, the Vanguards are the cool Guardians. The Van Guardians. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, I did I did Warlock, oh, yeah, and then I did a little Vanguard. bit of Hunter on the Alpha. So this time I went Titan, and yeah, I, I enjoyed it. You a Warlock, or what you... Warlock and Titan. I, I go, you know, depends on whether I'd rather punch somebody in the face or just throw a grenade at them and watch them die. Hunter for life. Yeah, man. Well, you go Titan, you go Warlock, I'll go Hunter, we'll kick you in out. All right. And we'll have some fun. Starting again on Wednesday. Thanks for chatting, guys.